These are children who survived at Auschwitz. Their parents and relatives had been murdered by poison gas. Most of them have forgotten their names and have nothing left to identify them except the numbers the Nazis tattooed on their arms. Now, over there was a lot of killing, starving, dying of cold, which in the winter came down to 40 below zero. The long Holocaust, uh, I felt my older uh, mom, mom, uh, in the sense that we were жили на Украине, отношение к нам, к сожалению, было не самое лучшее. Да и потом, мы были не евреи, мы были жиды. Вот такова действительность. In them they kill children, husband, men, women, 100,000. It was terrible. Благодаря... Покороче, не волнуйтесь. Благодаря мужеству моей мамы выжила я. Мне было несколько месяцев. I was a baby. My mother carried me, and was she tired, my grandmother took over, and that's how I survived. And I survived also only from nursing my starving mother. All the time, all that time. I had all the diseases you could think of. How I got out of it, I would say it's a miracle. Josh Martino sent me an article that he read about the Holocaust survivors living within our region that were struggling to get the right food and to get healthy food. And I was shocked to even realize that there were that many living Holocaust survivors right here in Northeast Florida, but even more disturbed to realize that so many of them were living uh, below the poverty line. I'm the grandchild of Holocaust survivors. Both my, my grandparents on my mother's side um, were, were separated into different camps and uh, nearly starved to death. I lost more than half of my family on that side to the concentration camps. Fortunately, they, they did survive and, and met up after the war and found each other and, and had my mom. I said to Josh, we need to create a program uh, to meet this need and we ought to do it and have it self-funded from within the Jewish community. So even though Feeding Northeast Florida has the logistics and the capability to solve the problem, we ought to have the funds for that problem come from within our own community and reach out to the people we know and just solicit private donations for it. He liked the idea and the two of us put the program together in short order. The food program was launched a year ago. We just celebrated our one year anniversary and it's a partnership with Feeding Northeast Florida. When they knew there were issues with food insecurity, they jumped in to collaborate with us to figure out a way to make sure that our survivors were getting nutritious food. We have the privilege of serving right now 104 Holocaust survivors that live in Northeast Florida. I think it's about 60 of our 104 receive food. They all are eligible. Um, and then we are able to deliver food to them as well, which is crucial for those that are homebound. I'm a volunteer driver for Jewish Family Services. To a group of Holocaust survivors on Wednesdays, I deliver food from Feeding Northeast Florida. The first Wednesday and the third Wednesday of each month, I go to a central location of Jewish Family Services Feeding Northeast Florida delivers three pallets, three large pallets of, of food. One pallet contains basically dry goods. One will have fruit and vegetables and the other will have frozen fish. Each person that I deliver food to will get three bags, one of each of those. It's very positive and everybody happy when they have that. It's, it's people who come every two weeks and when they come before, it's ring on the phone and voice marinas say be ready 
After two weeks, it will be new, packet with food. So we were ready, we were always ready. <laughs> На некоторые деликатесы, которые я получаю, я, пожалуй, не смогла бы купить в магазине. Это серьезная помощь. Витамины, овощи, сальмон. Все это значительная помощь в моем рационе. The biggest misconception is that they don't exist. And Quite honestly, they exist, and they exist in great numbers. So the need is there. It's, it's, it's really just a sad state that these people who survived so much um, are at this point in their life and um, may not have anyone to depend on. And so it's our job to find them, support them, feed them, take care of them, and, and you know, see that the rest of their lives is, is a lot better than the beginning of their lives.